WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny and very pleasant. This is the best time of the year, Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we begin our day with a mixed bag. The mix goes like this. You've got the Russell and the uh, Trannies are trading to the upside. The Russell's up three-tenths percent. The Trannies about nine-tenths. Other than that, U.S. indices are trading to the downside. Dow's up 146 points, about four-tenths of a percent there. Same for the S&P, or 22 points, one percent for the NASDAQ. That's a 212 move to the downside. Semis are also up 200 points, nearly four percent there. We've got gold trading up about 10 bucks. Silver's up 37 cents. Natural gas up a penny. Lights we crude is off three dollars and seventy five cents. Trading out at seventy oh eight. And the thirty year treasury up one point and three ticks. She's printed out at one twenty twenty eight. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We'll begin with the ES mini. What do we have here? We've got an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. Initial price projection level sixty twelve out there. Let's take a look at the spot fix index. Spot fix index is still above its 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day is printed at 1823. We're currently trading at 2001. If the spot fix ever does close below that 50-day exponential moving average, the move to that 6012 level would almost be certain. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ is attempting to form a new profile. It also has an A to B equal CD pattern to the upside. 21261 is its initial price projection level. Now um, maybe during the break out there, I'll see if this profile is still in place out here. I, I have to hit a couple of things. But right now, I'll give you where sellers and are lined up at 2524 and the buyers at 2135. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it negated its TD9 count top yesterday. And that would suggest a run for the 104.16 level, its TD9 count top. But Lee Corso would say not so fast. And the not so fast is something we'll take a look at during the Trader's Edge show today. Goldilocks is consolidating with inside its profile. That's anywhere between 2626 in support and 2698 resistance. So overall, also a consolidation with inside profile support at 3063 and profile resistance at 3272. We take a look at light speed crude. It has a sell the D point top. Price is now trading below the center of its bear structure profile. Ought to make its way down to the bottom, which is at 68.76. As natural gas found a bottom, it's made its way all the way back to its swing point low from August the 30th. That low was at 2.4390. We actually get down there this morning. We got down to 2.445. So just above it, that could be a bullish signal out there. And 30-year uh, treasury, it has a buy the D point bottom and a TD9 count bottom. And today, if it can close above the center of its profile, it's 120.26. You ought to see it move up to the 122.16 level. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you have to start your Tuesday, have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care now.